Welcome many Collins here for Lavinia World. Today we'll be creating this Christmas card. Let's go over the products I used to create this. Lavinia Stamps Shanty LAV502 and I'm going to turn it into a gingerbread house, so to speak. We're going to use Momento in Tuxedo Black Ink, Distress Inks in Tumble Glass and Peacock Feather for our background. We're going to be coloring our, stand, our image with some Copic markers. I have some white cardstock here. This is Accent Ultra Smooth and White, Opaque White. That's 80 pound. A 65 pound car, red cardstock for layering. And an A2 side folding card base, which is 110 pounds. And I die cut the Merry Christmas out of some red glitter cardstock. And I have a little clay heart. To accent. I may bring in some other pieces, but for right now, that's all I have pulled out. I'm going to add that little heart right over the heart that's on the image. All right, so let's go to the desk and get a, get started on our project. We're going to start with our distress background. So we're going to take some distress ink and tumble glass, and we're going to ink up our background here. And I'm going to create sort of an ombre effect starting from darkest to lightest, but I'm starting with my lightest ink. Then I move on to my Distress um, ink and Peacock Feathers. And I just keep applying the ink until I get it smoothed out to the finish I like. And I'll go back, I'll go between the two inks until I have it where I want it. I'm going to add a little bit more of our ink here. I'm going to add some water. Well, I'm still adding some distress ink and tumbled glass. Then I'll spritz this with some water and pick a, and dry it off with a paper towel just to bring up some nice textures. I'll heat set this so we can move along to the stamping. I'm going to bring in my stamping platform here and I'm going to put our shanty stamp onto our inked background panel. And I'm going to use the Tuxedo Black ink to stamp our image out. Once our image is all set, I'll move, remove my platform and we can start coloring our house. I'm going to bring in the Copic markers in E33, E23, E35, and E57. That's going to create our gingerbread um, portion of the house. So I'm going to color all that, poor, the majority of the house in these colors. I start off with my lightest, work on to all the way to my darkest, and then back again to have a nice even blend. This goes pretty quick as there isn't a lot of the house to color, but still I wanted to have that, you know, gingerbread look to it. And I kept this one um, fairly simple. We will be adding some nice accent to our card in a little bit after we're done coloring. And there's, I'm adding some color to the trees because there's some tree limbs that are on the side of the house. So I want to make sure I get those as well. Although most of this um, image is pretty much shaded for you, you can, there's still little white dots and highlighted areas that you can add the color to. So now we're going to move on to our R markers, which is R29 and R39. And I'm going to color the heart, the trim around the, the round window, and our door with this color. With, this, with these two markers. So we have a nice red door here. And then I'm going to realize I forgot to color around the door. So I have to go back to my E markers and fill that portion in. I'm going to use the same color combo I used prior, which is E33, E23, E35, and E57. Once I have that done, we'll move on to finish, to finish coloring those little cobblestones in next to our door. And we're going to bring in some G markers, G14 and G05. So now we have a little bit of red and green on our little house here. I'm going to do all the cobblestones and that little trim around the door. 
in green. We start with the G14 and then we bring the G05 in to add some um, dimension. Now we're going to do the, our roof. I'm going to add a little bit of color to this here. We're going to do use YR31 and E41. We're not doing a lot, just adding a little highlight here and there. So now our coloring is done. We're going to bring in our base, card stock, um, card base, and then we're also going to bring our layering card stock. I'm going to trim down this panel just a bit so that it's four by five and a quarter. so that I have a nice mat all around it once I adhere it to our layering cardstock. All right, but before we adhere it, I want to um, adhere our layering cardstock first to our card base. Get that all on there nice and smooth. And then we're gonna add our card panel, the up colored card panel, but before we do, I want to use Sukuneko's Radiant Neon Amplify. This will, this is a, a texture medium. It goes on glossy, and then once you add some heat to it, it'll puff up. So this will create a nice snowy effect or icing effect on our gingerbread house here. So I'm just going to add it here and there. I'm not putting a whole lot. just want to create icing drippings onto our house here. I'm even going to go down some of these little snow, which is actually like little leaves or coming down off of the uh, trees of the house, but I'm going to make them look like little snow icicle type things here. So I'm going to go on the roof, on that, and on our card, on our house base towards the bottom. Some I do scribbles, some I do little dots, just to get it on there to look like snow. Or in this case, since it's a gingerbread house, like icing. Now, to, we're going to heat set this, and then it'll go, it'll go from slick and shiny to puffy and matte. So I'm going to bring in my heat tool here, and I'll start heating it up. I'm not sure if my camera caught it or not, but you can actually see it change from shiny to puffy. Once that is complete, it's all nice and puffy and textured, I'm going to adhere that card um, panel to our card base using some low profile foam tape. I'm going to use three strips of it, and that's because our card panel has warped a bit from all that moisture that we put on it and then heating it. So this will make it nice and flat and straight. I'm going to center this on here as best as I can. Once that's on there, we can start adding our sentiment and our embellishment. We're going to start with our little heart that we're going to layer over the little colored heart. I'm going to get my jewel picker here and drop my heart all over the place. Finally get it centered onto the house here. And this is a little female heart, so it's going to be nice and lightweight. And that texture that we use to amplify is also very lightweight, so it doesn't add a lot of weight to your um, the card, so it'll be easy for mailing. So I'm going to go ahead and add here our die cut Merry Christmas to the top. And that's cut out of red glitter cardstock. I had a piece stuck still on my M there. Now it's stuck to the corner of my card, but I'll remove it. I'm adding a little bit of liquid adhesive to the back of my die cut. I'm getting it on there and making adjustments until I get it straight. Okay, now you could be done with your card at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and bring in a little bit more embellishment to the bottom. I'm going to bring in some Maker's Movement. Um, shaker sprinkles and there's this is called peppermint twist so I'm going to pull out these little peppermint candies they are red and white um, candy shapes but they're also made out of um, clay so I'm going to add those to the bottom here I'm going to add four one on each side of the green cobblestones to add more to our little candy or gingerbread house I should say 
And now my card is complete. We have those little peppermints on the bottom, a cute little heart, a glittery Merry Christmas, and all that texture from the Amplify. And now onto our beautiful shanty stamp. So let's go over again what we use for our, our card. A variety of Copic markers, Amplify Medium, um, Distressed Inks and Tumbled Glass and Peacock Feather, Memento Ink and Tuxedo Black, and of course the star of the show, Lavinia World, Lavinia World Stamp Shanty at LAV502. Of course, I'll have everything in the description box below and with a coordinating blog post. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you found some inspiration.